Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. And my cat is begging for my attention right now. What do you want, cat? Okay, anyways. It's time to take down the Dark Spirit in the Dark Spirit Revealed. It was now time for the Battle City Tournament Finals. Hey look! Joey, Yugi, and Mai! Check it out! We got all six located cards! Kaiba, Joey, Yugi, and Mai were the first four duelists to reach the finals. The fifth finalist soon arrived. It was Merrick. Using the fake name Namu, he befriended Taya and Joey during the tournament. His plan was falling into place. Yugi, meet your friend Namu! I've heard about you, Yugi! It's an honor to meet you! Wow, you sound a lot like some guy named Merrick we're trying to take down! Uh, I... I... I have no idea why that would be. Any friend of Joey and Taya is a buddy of mine. I'm so happy to be surrounded by such a welcoming crowd. I just hope everyone I meet tonight is as friendly as you people. Hey, that's Bakura. What's he doing here? What are you doing wearing a dual disc? How else would Kai win six located cards in the finals? Rewind a sec. When did you join the tournament? Join? How'd you make all the way to the finals? The seven finalists arrived just in time for Bakura to change the topic. Hey look, it's a seven finalist. This guy looks familiar, and that's a mug you don't forget. State your name. I am Merrick. Hmm, you don't sound like Merrick. Merrick's henchman Odeon assumed Merrick's name to hide Merrick's true identity. It was all part of Merrick's plan. Now kick your brainwashing keister. You are no match for me, fool. The only reason I'm not tossing you out about your cape right now is so I can save my energy to take you down the finals. Got that, pal? I think I scared him, Nuke. I don't think you did. Now that the eight finals arrived, Kaiba announced that even though their low care cards led to this location, it wasn't the side of the Battle City Finals. At that moment, Kaiba's blimp arrived. Once they were aboard it, it was time for the first duel between Yugi and Bakura. Yugi knew there was something not right with Bakura. I know that's not Bakura. It's the evil spirit of the Millennium Ring, and I bet he's after the seven Millennium Items. This duel is going to be tougher than everyone thinks. I must win this. The fate of the world depends on it. Are you prepared to lose it all? Why all the fuss? Why this hair change? And what's around Bakura's neck? Namu, it's kind of hard to explain, but that's not really Bakora. You see, Yugi and Bakora both have these real old objects that have magic powers. Yugi's item is good, but Bakora's item is bad. That's not how this works, Joey. Cause an evil spirit lives inside it. So you're telling me there's a... Wait, wait, there's an evil spirit up there doing Yugi? That's hard to believe. Harder to believe than my name being Namu. The team had no idea that Namu was actually Merrick. And that the evil spirit possessed Bakura was working for him. Now that the introductions are over and done with, why don't we begin this duel? Okay. I apologize for uh, cutting out. Uh, for some reason, I'm kind of congested or something like that, so I airflow is not really good right now. But I still want to duel, and that's the main purpose of playing this game anyway. So, go over it. Ah! What's with this hand? I can't say that every single time. Set Mirror Force. And set Spellbinding. And I gotta hope that I pull some sort of back row removal. Here soon. Because Bakora's whole thing is setting the spirit board. Spellbinding. Your monster isn't doing anything. Okay. And Slifer. Cool. I can't do anything. Well, that sure is neato burrito. I'll just take the bio damage. I'll hold off until I absolutely need to use Mirror Force. Can't do anything with this. Uh, 
<sighs> Come on. Oh, Son Gun. Great. And he'll start searching for cards once uh, Son Gun hits the uh, graveyard from the field. So I'll fiend monsters on the field. No. Okay. Sure, why not? Exile the wicked. Activate. And Son Gon's effect activates. Okay, that'll end my turn. So far, the only real problem is I don't have any monsters I can use. Ow. <sighs> Ooh, magic cylinder. Yeah, sure. This is not going well, by the way. Keep running to the same, same problem as always. Let's see, that'd be... I'll take it. 200 life points left. Oh, cool. DMG. I can't do anything. DMG. I don't know if I've actually mentioned this. Stands for Dark Magician Girl. Yeah, let's activate Mirror Force. <sighs> Souls of the Forgotten. Oh no. This doesn't help too much, honestly, because I still don't have a monster on the field that can do anything. But this will have to do. Can't believe I'm wasting my, um, magic cylinder already. Cool. If I don't draw something right now, this game's over. Wow, talk about just in time. Okay, now I'll finally have something of a chance. End turn. Okay. Oh cool, another DMZ. You take no battle damage because of one day of peace. What do you do? Oh, that's not a big deal. It's going to be tributed anyway. Not tributed for Dark Magician Girl. Go! Okay. Let's go. And we will destroy his visor desk. End turn. Let's just card friggin' Slifer. Actually, yeah, I'll get 300 extra attack points. Like that. I am surprised I have not seen his spirit board pop up yet. I'm wondering if they removed it and Link Evolution from this duel. Because it hasn't popped up yet. Anyways, summon Karibo to the field. And acti activate Multiply. And tribute my Karibo here. Get some Kuribo tokens. They can't be tributed. That's right. I forgot about that. I don't know why I don't read my cards. Basically, I just give myself one monster to work with. Boy, I sure am smart, huh? What are you going to choose? 
Dark Spirit of the Silent. You really don't have uh, the Spirit Board, do you? Hmm. That's curious. I would imagine that you would have that. Okay. Let's throw these into attack position. Because why not? No, not you. DMG destroys face down. Oh, cool. Okay, so it looks like he does not have the spirit board that I so hated back in the original Legacy of the Duelist. So that means that I have to rework and rethink my entire way of handling this duel. Which, I mean, that's not a big problem. Just annoying that I was like, so, um, oh really? Where was this hand when I needed it last turn? Or last duel? Okay, cool. Let's set you. Activate Graceful Charity. I'll discard Silver Fang, because I don't have Raigeki. And discard Feralim. And I'll end my turn. Yeah, I was like, basically, really, uh, oh, I guess, um, well, I really can't think of the words right now. Um, yeah, I don't have the words, sorry. I should, <laughs> nothing's coming to my head right now. I literally can't think of what I'm trying to think of. Um, I'll set you. I'll take a chance here. Um, okay. Don't summon. Ah, perfect. That's fine. I contribute these two away for Dark Magician. Okay. No one can attack for two turns. Sure, let's do that. And then tribute these two. Summon you to the field. Paranoid! That was what I was looking for. I was so paranoid about his spirit board strategy. Okay. Let's equip that to Dark Magician. Then activate Hand Destruction. Oh, cool. I got another Dark Magician. Not very useful. Sure, let's activate Light Force Sword. By the way, that was completely random. It's kind of weird that I didn't choose, though. Like, I mean, I couldn't really look at him, but it's weird that I didn't choose to. Why did you summon an attack position? Oh, right, because you're not worried about it. I'll save you for later. I still can't attack, I don't believe. Yeah, because that Nightmare Still Cage is still in the field. That'll end my turn. Hmm. It'd be good if I can get his monsters to be foot face up. Well, what do you know? That's exactly what I need. 
Perfect. They are all fiends, I believe. Oh, that one's a spellcaster. Okay, that's fine. Activate Exile of the Wicked. So it's all fiends. Moving into my battle phase, I'll destroy his spellcaster there. The Jalkin, the Spiritualist, and now end my turn. Mm, another phase time. I really need another monster to help this out. I can't just keep dealing no damage to him. Oh, I have a DMG in there. Activate Monster Reborn. Perfect. Although, what else is there for me to... Yeah. I'll grab DMG here. And summon her to the field. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. DMG, destroy. Then attack with 3200. Mmm, nice. If I can keep this up, my next attack will completely end Gami Bakora. But we'll see how well this goes. Oh, Grave Necrofear. There's gonna be Dark Necrofear. Okay. Let me remember why this is such a big deal. Oh, well, it's not going to be destroyed. It's not a big deal, actually. Activate Soul Exchange. Tribute that. Then, let's see, I'll tribute my, uh, your Dark Necrofear and this DMG. So I can summon the Dark Magician to the field. Because I'm a very smart player. Basically, Dark Necro Fear's whole big thing is it must be destroyed by battle for its effect to activate. And, uh... Er... I mean, it just has to be destroyed while it's in the monster zone. Uh, the main monster zone. And then, it targets a monster that I control. That card's equipped to this card. Uh, then... Basically, he gets to take control of my monster. It, it's not confusing, but it's just kind of... Wait, why can't I attack? Oh, right, I can't attack the turn I activate Soul Exchange. Duh. I was... I already knew that. I kind of forgot what I was doing. Sorry, right now I'm kind of having my head in the clouds right now. I'm just kind of... Sleepy. I woke up from a nap. And I'm not really all that there right now. Alright, Gazelle. Let's see what happens. You. Destroyed. And the Stark Magician will take this out. And then I'll attack for game with my final Dark Magician. And that's it. Bakura! You okay? Hey, where am I? You're with your friends now, Bakura. I'm glad Bakura's okay. The Millennium Ring is a lot like my puzzle. It holds an ancient spirit that depends on someone else so it can exist. And even though the spirit of the ring is evil and controls Bakura against his will, it seems to still need Bakura in order to survive. But there is one major difference between Bakura and I. What's that? The spirit inside the, my item is my friend, and you and I are always there to support each other no matter what may come our way. You were there to help me when my grandfather was in trouble. And now, I'm here to help you rescue the world from evil. I promise that together, we'll figure out the secrets of your ancient past and how to unlock your hidden powers before America can take them. Because your destiny is mine too, and we're gonna win. That's right. This is a tough duel, but thanks to our teamwork and the heart of the cards, we came out on top. Now we're headed for round two, and we're gonna take it all the way. Yep. Except, not in this episode. Uh, that one took way too long um i don't know like i'll i'm not gonna make any promises i'll try and find a video of how like the duel used to go 
Uh, but it it was quite different. He had this spirit board tactic, and it was probably the most obnoxious thing I've ever seen. Um, but anyway, that's going to end the episode here, and I'll catch you all in the next one.